You got something? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Steve? <laughs> hey, I got it. Right. Steve, Steve. Steve. I thought Steve had it handled, no. okay. but I guess not. Since you're, no, Mr. President-elect, Mr. President-elect, since you are attacking our news organization, can you give us a chance? You're, you are attacking our news organization. Can you give us a chance to ask a question, sir? Sir, can you state, can, Mr. President-elect, can you state categorically, Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? You are attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. Can I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You state, can you, state categor- you are fake news, sir. Go ahead. Can you state categorically that nobody, no, Mr. President-elect, that's not appropriate. <laughs> it's not appropriate. It's Mr. not appropriate. It's not appropriate, Mr. Trump. He, Mr. President-elect. Elect. Yeah, he can uh, say whatever he wants, right? <laughs> yeah. So here's the deal. A um, couple things. Fake news has become this like broad term that yeah, doesn't mean I anything. Hate it. Yeah. Uh, and also, he's not wrong. CNN is a terrible organization. Later in the show, we'll actually have a fake news item that's real fake news. Yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> Since it comes from a legitimate fake news <laughs> yeah, right. site like hey. The Onion. So, yeah. anyways. Uh, what were we going to say about that? Oh, uh, so people were complaining about <laughs> how, well, but freedom of press is the First Amendment, and how can he do that? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. I'm pretty sure that the First Amendment gives them the right to, or, you know, to say reinforces stuff their to right write, to yeah. write whatever they want. Right. It doesn't give them the right for a president-elect, to have not a public official at this point right. even, to answer or even listen to their questions. Right. And even when he becomes president, as other presidents have done, they've banned people from Absolutely. press uh, conferences. Absolutely. And now I will tell you. You got kicked out. I hope. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I hope that. Probably the gun. Anyway. I, <laughs> I hope that. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to I hope he doesn't stop is what I'm saying. Oh, like really? I hope he's not inaugurated and then he starts being nice. Yeah, you don't want I hope, that? No. Yes. I, really don't. You don't want any decorum. It's, the, it's hilarious. <laughs> well, no, look, it's a two-way street, isn't it? It'll be... Uh, if people are treating him fairly, I really do think that he's generally nice to those people. I would think so, yeah. CNN, uh, they they were they were passing around but, a fake uh, story. Uh, right. And they, knew, they probably knew it wasn't yeah. true. Yeah. I mean, they didn't do as bad of a job at it as BuzzFeed did. BuzzFeed's not a news agency. But I think what people are afraid of is that he will intimidate the press so much that they they will never want to criticize him, Uh, which I don't know if there's any fear of that. How how can he? What are you saying? Well, I'm saying CNN is going to be walking on glass when they go to the next press conference. In that right, and that'll be very different from how they've acted with Obama for eight years. Uh, yeah, I don't, right. I I'm mean, not, come on. I know. I'm just saying that that's what people are afraid of. Then that that's on the news the, agency, not on Trump. So right. I mean, come on. He yeah. has he has the rights that every other American citizen have. Well, no. Yes. No. Yes. Public figures are held to a different standard than you and I. <laughs> We're not public figures. Yet. It, no, I don't. That's not no, true. That's, that's true. That isn't that, true. No, that is true. He might have some requirements of his job. No, if you look at movie stars and stuff that, that are saying, you know, uh, I don't want people to take pictures of me and all that, courts have held that if you're out in public and all that, you can be harassed and, you know, they can go after you. But you can't. Up. Is what you're saying. You're saying I can't follow you around with camera in public. Yeah, you could. Of course. But you wouldn't. What's your point? What I'm saying, yeah, is, the public might hold them to a different standard, but legally they're not. Well, well they're not supposed to be. Know. They are all the time, yeah. right? I mean, we know that. Yeah. Look at what Clinton's gotten away with. I'm saying he has the same rights as everybody else. Right. Do you see Rosie O'Donnell? This was awesome. I don't want to see her. Um, she said uh, she fully supports martial law. To stop the inauguration. Who's Marshall Law? Is that a new actor in Hollywood? Mm-hmm. Yep. He does um, kung fu movies. Marshall Law. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> she wants the military to take over okay. because apparently she thinks the military is full of liberal dem- Democrats and they would do and, that. And, and she has no idea what Marshall Law no, is. No, she has no idea. Yeah. But she just wants to stop the election until Trump is cleared of all charges 
related to the Russian hacking of the election. And I'm not sure what charges are pending are pending yeah. for him in the Russian mm. hacking. God, she's a twit. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you're allowed to say that. A twit? Yeah. You have to be nice to her. Why? Uh, she'll eat you. Well, there is that fear. <laughs> All right. Let's you're, see. You're so mean. I am mean. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Some good news. Obama gave his farewell speech. Oh, that was good. I saw some stats. Yeah. Um, 51 minutes long, approximately. He referred to himself. I did this, and I think, and I, I, uh, 75 times in 51 uh-huh. minutes. That's more than once per minute. That's pretty good. Uh, that's, that's a little low on him. Uh, he <laughs> lied 31,219 times during that 51 minutes. You made that up. And wiped away fake tears three times. You made that second one up. <clears throat> I, I made them all up. Okay. Well, except the first one. Yeah. <laughs> I believe he referred to him. Did you see him crying? I saw pictures. Uh, were there any tears, or was it similar to when he was talking about the mass shooting? Uh, yeah. Which one was it? I don't, I don't remember which one it was, but he he was <laughs> like with the corner. Of, you know, you remember how and like, people were how saying pathetic it was. People were saying that he was putting like <clears throat> Vicks yeah, 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 rub I, in his eye. Yeah, something. Ugh. Anyway, bye. That's all. It's hard for sociopaths to really cry. To have tears. I mean, legitimate. His daughter cried too. They can. Uh, His other daughter was suspiciously not there. The older one? Uh, she's, yeah. She's high all the time. <clears throat> she was high. I think they used the excuse that she was studying for a test well, that she had the next day. But schools are out. <clears throat> or generally, I mean, it, no. they just got back. I don't think they would have a test this soon, but maybe. Who am I to say? They may. I mean, maybe she has a weekly spelling test. I don't know what grade <clears throat> she's in. but She's in high school. They don't have spelling tests. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's reefer. I was still R-E-F-F- taking, R-E-F-E-R- I was still taking spelling tests when I was her age. You were not. I was in third grade then. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh! <laughs> God, I'm slow. Maybe you were the one. <laughs> I was in third grade very, several times. Wouldn't you think she wow. could reschedule the test, though? I think she could I do mean, whatever like, she wanted. I, it's a private school, and it's like you're... Your father is giving his farewell speech from right. being president of the United States for yeah. eight years. Nah, I'm going to study. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to get a pizza. I'm going to put on some uh, headphones and listen to some yeah, music, well, and I'm oh, going to study. <laughs> Finally, mom and dad are out of the house. And I'm going to toke up. Maybe Well, you, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was like a last party. Invite our friends over because mom and dad oh, were out. Yeah. 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 A little stoner party. <laughs> At the White House. I wonder if stuff like that happens in the Secret Service is just like quiet about it. Of course like, it happens. Party with them. Do you Jeez. think so? Yes. Do you think presidents, teenage kids, like host parties while their parents are gone and Secret Service goes along with it? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. We'll see. <clears throat> I would. All right. What you got? I got I got nothing. No, really, I got, hey, <laughs> I got nothing. Joe, um, Joe Biden also cried. Did you see he got the Presidential Medal of Freedom today? No, I did not. He did get that. Oh, that's nice. From he the would... Secretary of Defense? No, 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 from Obama. The Presidential Medal of Oh, this was the Medal Presidential? Because, huh. mm-hmm. you know, all the good stuff Joe Biden's done. For our freedom. <clears throat> for freedom. <laughs> and that was the list of all the things Joe Biden has done mm-hmm. for our freedom. Yes. <laughs> Can you can you list some more of those businesses that Trump is in? <laughs> oh, I, LLB. That's I don't. That's all I have. I got yeah. nothing on that. We got to slow down, or we're going to run out of stuff. No, we're almost halfway done. No, we're not. Yeah, we, we are. Got, we got a long way to go. You're not good at time, are you? Time is hard. We're going to take a thirty minute break in the middle. <laughs> that, that'll about do it. Then we're we're just about done. Well, do you want to talk about roofies, or do you want to go with the uh, fake news story? Roofies. All right, because after that, we've we've got nothing. Yep. Uh, Dylan Roof, the uh, the church shooter that killed a bunch of uh, black people in a black church and was proud of it and picked them out because they were black, defends himself in his death sentencing portion of the trial. He'd been found guilty, right? He says he's not crazy. 
He has no regrets. He knew what he was doing, and he wanted to make it clear several times that even though his defense attorneys were trying to make it out that he was crazy, he's not crazy. Isn't it the sign that he's crazy? Well, I think that's what he was hoping for, but it didn't work because... Uh, you think? Oh, no, I don't think so. I think he was hoping for the death penalty. The jurors came back, and they gave him the death penalty. <clears throat> he's a martyr. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure they'll do a bunch of uh, appeals. It'll be years. Who will appeal? His, there's an automatic appeal in death sentences, mostly. Uh, usually, I Is think. there? Yeah. Okay. The, the, yeah. You know, I'm opposed to the death penalty. Penalty. I don't think the state should Are have you? the power to kill people. Are right, I don't. Yeah. He makes it pretty difficult, though. Like, I mean, in like, a case like this, where it seems pretty obvious, it's not hard to look at I, it and I, know I, that I, he did it. That's not my point. Not, my point. I don't care not, if you killed not. a million people. You probably shouldn't get the death penalty. Because that gives a lot of power to the state. It does. What I'm saying is, if you now listen, if you uh, were a victim of crime, all right, somebody broke into your house, raped your daughter, and you saw them rape your daughter, you know that he's guilty. He jumps through the window and runs away, and you chase him and shoot him. You go to jail for that. That's murder, right? Uh, Similar situation where we know this guy is uh, guilty. He's been tried. He's been convicted. And now he's like he's running away, and the state says, we're going to kill you. And it's okay for us because we're the government. Yeah. It's not okay for you to do it. Yeah. No, I get that. That's sort of how I come at it. I get that. Yeah. It gives too much power to the government. I agree. Even though it costs money to keep people in jail, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't kill people. I agree. Yeah, but it's, I it's rather, not it's not self defense, right? Perhaps because you put him in prison for the rest of his life. He's isolated from society. He's no longer a threat to society. Perhaps we could come up with a better solution. Life in we, prison, where we don't have to spend money keeping him alive in a prison, uh, and we also don't murder him like put him on a penal colony in some island out in the pacific no oh, maybe that's not a bad idea that's, it's been done alcatraz <laughs> look at how Aust- australia turned out pretty good right that, that was a penal colony, uh, colony. Right. Yeah, alcatraz so. worked yeah <laughs> not a lot of natural resources and you know I oh mean, it was uh, also a prison that we were paying for i know but <laughs> I, i'm just saying <laughs> drop him off in the middle of some uh, south american Desert and let Have you, nature take oh, its course. Put him in Canada. There you go. <laughs> it's cruel and unusual punishment. Have you, God? Have you ever <laughs> sent somebody to Canada? Have you ever been God. to Alcatraz? <laughs> put a bullet in my head. Have you ever been to Alcatraz? <laughs> I, uh, I've seen it from the bridge, but I've never been there. Okay, you should go <laughs> <laughs> and, and stay. check in. <laughs> stay oh, there. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have, uh, I don't work for a huge company that sends you out to California every couple weeks where you can drive around in big fancy cars and you've got a big expense account and you smoke big $4 cigars and drink $5 drinks. Since when has a Bentley been a big expensive car? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so, no, I didn't go out to the tour. <laughs> okay. You should. But I've been in San Fran. Yeah. And it's really the cool. Golden Gate. It's cool. I you saw can, the movie. You can go at night and can take you? a night tour. That'd be cool. Yeah. I want. I want to be the do the the uh, the white water rafting tour where they push, put you in a raft and push <laughs> you off and <laughs> see if you can get back to the. Is that what you want to do, San Francisco? Yeah. Well, one guy may have. Yeah, maybe a couple. Yep. And I think the MythBusters. Uh, Showed it's called it plausible. Plausible, yeah. Yeah. A lot of things would have to be, you know, right. Pre- work out, but pretty well. But you could do it. Yeah. Let's take a break. Do your question. Really? You're going to let me do it? I'm excited for it. I'm even going to try to answer. I've, it. I've probably had this question a few years ago. I can't remember, but it's always interesting, and it kind of surprises some people. But how many presidents of the United States, forty-four, were, were born? Oh. As British subjects. Ooh, well, we did have this question. It was like two months ago, not a couple of years ago, but we'll be right back. Farther than two months ago. Lock, 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 lock it in. 
and rip, rip, rip the knob off. Red State Talk Radio.